Lately in this course, we have been discussing ways of avoiding harm and increasing the likelihood of positive events. In doing so, we looked at the survivorship bias and the distorted views created by the media. Our main idea was that we want to take risks when the harm is limited, but the potential gain is great. We have also discussed hidden risks and harms and how to spot them. In this video, I would like to discuss a similar concept. There are many times in life when the benefits of something may not be immediately known or obvious, but in the long run, the potential benefits could be significant. Being able to spot these opportunities can increase our success probability significantly. For example, consider networking and building relationships. When something good happens in your career or your personal life, other people are involved. If you have built a very successful business, for example, you work with colleagues, employees, and customers. Consider a good mutually beneficial relationship in your own life. You might say that the probability of this single relationship having a significant positive impact in your life is not very big. But think about this in the same way you think about rare events and the way your probability of success increases as you repeat the same experiment many times. The same thinking can be applied here. Maybe this one person won't have a significant impact on your life, but think about your entire network of people. Each person may have a small probability of changing your life, but when these probabilities are added up, it becomes substantial. This is why you will notice that people with broader networks of colleagues will have better connections and career prospects. We may say, oh, that person is just lucky that he knows him. But by expanding your own network, you can essentially create your own luck. Consider everyday things in your own life. Say it is a Friday night after a long week at work, and you can either stay home and watch your favorite movie or go to a party. The benefits of watching the movie are immediate. It makes you happy, you don't have to get ready or drive there, and so on. So you might be tempted to choose this option. But the benefits of going to the party and being social far outweigh the first option. By going to the party, not only are you being social, which is instinctive for people, but also you are expanding your network and meeting new people. When we look at this concept this way, the harm in meeting a new person is very limited, but the potential benefits in the long run are huge, so it is a gamble you should not refuse. This too is often affected by the survivorship bias. For example, you might hear of someone who was a computer geek who never went to parties or social events, but built a very successful software company. Here, we are again focusing on one single exceptional person and ignoring the other less successful people who fall under this category. By an overwhelming majority, the successful people in life are those who have a large network of friends and colleagues. Therefore, when the harm is limited but the potential gains could be huge in the long run, you should take that risk. This demonstrates the broad way of thinking. You are looking at every aspect of the situation, the potential risks, the long-term benefits, the hidden risks, or the unknown positive results. Try to apply this method of thinking in every aspect of your life. This will significantly increase your chances for success. Thank you for watching.